Hello viewers, in this video we are going to understand about cryptograms. Cryptograms is a concise system that gives you precise information about viruses. We have vernacular names, we have different uh, nomenclature system for viruses. But cryptograms is kind of a key that gives you the information about properties of the viruses. It gives you a quick summary of the virus properties and the keys are used to denote different viral properties. Cryptogram of viruses is based on four pairs of characters. You can say that there are four parts of that key or cryptogram and it has four pairs that describe the characteristics of that particular virus. So pair one, pair two, pair three and pair four. This way four pairs are there for characteristics of viruses. So pair 1 tells you about the type of nucleic acid uh, of the virus and the strandedness of that nucleic acid. For example, R is used for RNA genome. If the nucleic acid uh, of the virus is RNA, then we will be using R. And if the, it is DNA, then we will be using D. And strandedness, 1 is used for single-stranded nucleic acid and 2 is used for double-stranded nucleic acid. And pair 2 tells us about the molecular weight of nucleic acid in millions and percent of the nucleic acid in infective particle. Because many a times the infective particle not only has nucleic acid but also the protein part. So how much in percentage uh, the infective particle is made up of, of nucleic acid. Okay, so molecular weight of nucleic acid in millions and percentage of the nucleic acid of the infective particle and pair 3 tells us about the outline of the particle shape and outline of the nucleocapsid. So these two information we do, we do get from pair 3 and we use S for spherical shape, we use E for elongated or ends parallel shape and we use B for basiliform shape. The pair 4 tells us about the type of the host it infects and type of the vector used for transmission. There are different codes for different hosts and different codes for different types of vectors. For example, B is used for bacterial host if the virus is infecting bacteria, F for fungus, I for invertebrates, V for vertebrates, S for seed plants. Likewise, for vectors we have different uh, keys, AP for aphids, AU for leaf hopper. CL for beetle, FU for fungus, NE for nematode, TH for thrips, W for whitefly, O for spread without vectors, and SE for seed transmission. And we use an star or asterisk for if information is not known to us. Just a second. So we have seen that cryptograms has four pairs which gives us information about the viruses. Now I will give you some examples of virus cryptograms. For example, polio virus. So the cryptogram is in four pairs, pair one, pair two, pair three, pair four. So it's a RNA virus and it's a single stranded virus and its nucleic acid is 5 million length and 30% of the uh, nucleic acid uh, is uh, there in the viral particle and it is spherical in shape as well as the nucleocapsid is also spherical. It infects vertebrates and the vector is not known, right? So this way, this cryptogram represents polio virus. Now let's take this example, CMV, Kukumba Mosaic virus. It is also an RNA virus, single stranded, and its genome is split in four different RNA species. The plus sign is separating those species. So 1.3 million, 18 percent. Uh, of the nucleocapsid is RNA, this much, this one, and 1.1 million, again about 18 percent, 0.8 million, 0.3 million, like that, and 18 percent. And it is spherical in shape as well as nucleocapsid is spherical. As for seed plants and AP for aphids, right? Uh, right. And uh, this uh, transmits from with the help of aphids as well as seed transmission is also observed. Right, so two ways of transmission. This way a cryptogram explains or 
tells you precise information in just a code, code form. Right? Similarly, you can go through all the other examples and you can explore more about these. Like here, a maze streak virus, uh, this uh, factor is not known, so an asterisk is placed here. Right? O is used for if the vector is not known. Right? Or C transmission is known, other vectors are not known. B for bacillus, so uh, bacteria, it in for T4 phage infects bacteria, so the host is bacteria, right? Influenza virus, again, the vertebrates are the host. Right, so this way cryptograms give us a very precise information about the nucleic acid type, its strandedness, what is the uh, length of the nuclear, uh, this the nucleic acid and what is the percentage in nucleocapsid and also the shape of the nucleocapsid, what is the vector, uh, what is the host and what is the vector. Right. I hope this video was useful for you. So thank you for watching this video and please keep coming and subscribe this channel. Thank you.